welcome back to Loading Marriage. Well, see, now you just accentuated the loading marriage. And it's loading weird. marriage! But see, my decimal level did, did not go down. I said decimal. Well, you also <laughs> you also said but see, which I don't know. That sounds kind of gross. <laughs> but see. So, again, still playing Star Wars Battlefront Two. We're trying to rescue her father because reasons. Cause, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I was having a conversation with someone not too re- uh, not too recently. It was a little while ago, but. Um, because like I think like the, at the time the Powerball or Mega Millions is up to like five hundred million dollars or some crazy uh, amount, right? Yeah. So naturally you always have that conversation of, oh, what's the what first thing you you're win? gonna buy? What do you? Wait, why did it just change to be a third person? I don't, I don't know. Does it, does it just do it automatically or something? Well, no, right now it is. He's still here. So we're just not shooting people. Oh. Please. So I, I have a feeling a cutscene is coming up here pretty quick. So. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll put a put a put a put, pin, a, in put a pin in that. The Empire's time has come. You don't have to go down with it. This is a rescue attempt. I politely decline. We have to go now. Rax expects me to leave too. This is where I belong. I gave my life to this empire, fought to keep it strong. Hard to believe this is all that's left. You saw the empire's weakness and refused to let it consume you. It made you stronger. That's why you're leaving here without me. You deserve better than this. No, I don't, but you do, Aiden. You deserve to live in peace. Go. Survive. Live. Not even a hug your daughter goodbye? I was gonna say, that didn't take a whole lot of convincing. Right? I was trying to reach an escape pod. Gotta get to Del. Gotta stay alive. Seriously, that did I mean... Alright, so, okay, back to what we were talking about. We are talking about this Mega Millions and, you know, first thing you buy. Of course, everyone comes up with the, like, oh, new house, new car, all that type of stuff. But, like, other than that, like, what's the first thing you would buy? Actually, those would be the first things I would buy. But, well, really, what do you think would be the first thing outside of paying off all your bills and buying a new house or, you know... And, and we're going to also get rid of, like, oh, I'm going to give so much to charity or whatever. Like, something for yourself. What, what is, what's your first thing? Huh. Like, the very first thing? Yeah, I mean, okay, obviously if you're kind of like, oh, I'm going to stop and get a snack. No, you don't want to hear about the ham sandwich you're buying. Okay, so, so, a lot of Ben and Jerry's is... Yeah, of course that's off the... <laughs> Why? Why? Because I'm a really fat person trapped in a really chubby person's body. <laughs> I can't say a skinny person's body because that, that's just a lie. How did he know which one to open? Maybe he opened a whole bunch and then this process, we're, we're only seeing the, the one Process that, of elimination. Yeah. <laughs> he went through 50 and it's like, oh, you're not her. Just leave you some there. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wrong chick. It's over. Wait, so... What? This is going to be the end of the campaign. We didn't even get to have our conversation. <laughs> Boom! Wow! <laughs> the uh, droid tells me you're alive. Looks that way. No, come on. You gotta see this. Is it a dance party? I'm so low. I'm so low. Yeah, that got stuck in my head, by the way, after we played that video. So awesome. 
Come on, you have to see this. Oh yeah, your father's dead body is in that shit right? somewhere. Right? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Look at all this death and destruction. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Let's gaze upon the masterpiece. I mean, like, yay, but, oh, decades later. If it's a spaceship, why does it need such big wings? Uh, it's a good question. Maybe just... To make it look cool. Well, of course, that's why they do it for the movies and all, but... What? What did he mean? Father. What are you gonna do today, Kylo? Whatever I want, go! <laughs> yes, I just made him Napoleon Dynamite. No, I, I'm, I'm not arguing with that analogy. <laughs> yeah. Why would be evil so bad? Bring me to the dark side. You could have just asked. The map to Skywalker. You know how I can find it. I don't know what you're talking about. Show me where the old man took it. Get out of my head! I won't tell you anything. You think this ship will protect you? Keep you safe. Now I get to do this. Okay, so I guess the game's not over. So, now that we're back to playing and we're out of cutscene, back to what we were saying. So, yeah, first thing you buy with your millions of dollars that you win. Mine? You know those Japanese toilets that, like, you know, basically when you go to the bathroom, they, uh, they, they spray you clean and they, like, blow dry it, you know, with hot air. And sometimes they spritz a little powder. Do they? Yeah, oh, they do everything. Man, that's deluxe. They're, oh, I know, and I want one so badly. Like, from what I understand, they start at like $5,000 and go so, up. So you want a luxury toilet. Oh, the yes, absolutely. All the bells and whistles. I want everything. So, I mean, it's if you, such if you, a man thing. Like, I don't understand what men's obsession with the toilet is. It's our personal time. It's just, it, it's a... But, but, but... What? Yeah, it has to do a lot with your butt, butt, butt. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I don't get it. I don't find the toilet to be a relaxing place to hang out. If I sit too long, my legs fall asleep, and really then it's just quite uncomfortable. Okay, but still, it, 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 you know what? It's my millions of dollars I'm, I know. I, I, and I, I want I, this luxury and toilet. And that's fine. I'm just, I don't, I, I'm just curious about men's affinity for toilet time. Because, I don't know, it's just a nice time that we get to be left alone. Okay. I don't know. It's, it, it, it. So, 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 what do you buy with your millions of dollars besides Ben and Jerry's? Uh, at, at least I have a dream, okay? Yours can actually become a reality right now. We can go buy you a butt ton of Ben and Jerry's. I know. Wouldn't like, it be we amazing? have credit cards with fairly high limits. Like, even if we just spent, like, you know, a thousand dollars, we could buy you so much Ben and Jerry's. I have that, that would so much. That ice would cream. be like. 
you know, what, 200 pints of Ben and Jerry's. That'd be amazing. Well, not, not really. So really, you don't want to win the lottery. You just want to have an extra $1,000. Uh, I guess. I just want to have ice cream. Always. All the time. Okay, no, we're not talking about ice cream But anymore. it was like, I know, a celebratory pint. But Ben and Jerry's was good in, in the good times and in the okay, bad times. Okay, you know what? Again, we're not talking about ice cream. I I just buy... I just turned this guy like he's going to turn around and look at you. Like, I am trying so hard. I, I... First in, last out. Yeah. She led you to ruin. Who led her to ruin? What? It doesn't matter. We're just... I just don't know what is You know what? I was wondering if he was talking about his mother. He my mom too. Okay, you know. Anyways, I would No, you know what? I don't care anymore. But I don't I have an care answer. anymore. I know you but haven't I... answered. But, you know, you just want to keep making Napoleon Dynamite references and talking <laughs> about ice funny. cream. So apparently that's all you're gonna do when you win millions of dollars is just quote Napoleon Dynamite and eat ice cream. No. Um I would buy a vacation home. Like no, 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 no. We already said no homes. But it's a vacation everyone home. Everyone says houses and cars. I mean, like, something that's more original. Um, what about just a really nice vacation? Like, ugh, you're so boring. But those are the things I would want to do if I had money. Like, I would travel and see the world and, like, eat awesome food in Italy and... Sit on a beach in Greece and just be happy doing stuff like that. So, okay, so no houses, no cars, no vacations. What would I buy? Well, I mean, you have to at least be something interesting. Like, don't just be like, oh, go buy a Ferrari. Like, if there was, like, some really special car, like one of those rocket-powered cars, that'd be uh, kind of no. cool. I might buy an electric car. That'd be kind of cool. Get a, uh, what you call it? A, uh, uh, a, uh, Tesla. I was going to see how long it took me to come up with that. And... Oh, look, the giant bugs are back. I don't like the giant bugs. That doesn't matter. You see, you could, you could have used your money to buy the world's largest bug zapper. That's an interesting thing, right? I guess. Well, no, it's, that's my idea now. You can't do that. When we win the lottery, I'm buying the bug zapper, and you you can't use my bug zapper. I would get a pool. Okay. Like, what? what's so special about your pool? It'll be really big, and it'll be an in-ground pool, and it'll have a hot tub in one section, and it would have a waterfall that you could, like, go behind and swim under. Um... Oh. I just realized this is, sounds just like talking to a child. Like, just a list of things, and, 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 and we all have to pretend like we're excited to hear this. And, and oh. I, ooh, 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 ooh. To, See, like a child, go, like a child. This is what a five-year-old <laughs> does. To go with my pool, I would build, oh my gosh, I would build an amazing outdoor kitchen with an awesome grill and like a really cool fireplace and I'd have some really nice outdoor furniture. I would be like the most epic outdoor living space ever. It would be so awesome. So you're going to buy a pool and a grill. But it's more than a grill. It's like doing out the whole patio and you build a pergola and then you've got like a I'm counter. Sorry, did you say build a pergola? Pergola. You're making up words. Now. I am not making up words. Somebody made up that word. And I think you just did it right I now. I did not. A pergola is like a... They I can't see your hands moving. I know they, they can't. But you can. I'll break you here. <gasps> That, but yeah, so I mean, it's like a whole thing, and then it's like you know, like a big brick fireplace. Well, maybe not brick, but like some kind of nice stone. And oh gosh, outdoor living rooms are so epic. And then you put in that pool with it. Oh, I would live outside, except for the bugs. So, to combat the bugs, you cannot have a bug zapper. I nope, recall, I'm not talking about a bug zapper. Okay, so to combat the bugs, right, I would build a 
giant, like, screened enclosure over the whole backyard area. So that the bugs couldn't get in. So you're going to take the outside and put it inside. But not really, you because love, it's You love screened. the outside so much that you're going to enclose all of it. <laughs> but in a screen, so you still enjoy the weather and the sunshine and the breeze, but not bees and beetles and moths and things that are crunchy that will try to fly around my beautiful outdoor light fixtures as I sit outside at nighttime in the summer and enjoy the warm breeze drinking okay, a glass you know of what? wine. For, for for the sanity of everybody, we're not even going to touch on the description of crunchy in your bugs. Some okay? people know what I'm talking so, about with crunchy bugs. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. This is the end of the episode. Bye, everyone. If See you, you next don't want time. crunchy bugs, comment. For realsies, they're a real thing. It's not like, oh, crunchy bugs. Crunch. <laughs>